it's no longer news that the united kingdom have stopped students from bringing in their dependents into the uk since 1st of january 2024 but there are some students that are still able to bring in their dependents into the uk and that is what we are going to discuss about today master students as well so there are this set of people that the united kingdom have permitted to still bring in their dependents when they are coming in to study as long as they wish to the first set of people are students that are being sponsored by government and they are going to take a course that would last longer than six months another set of people are people that are going to do their phd if you are going to do your phd you are allowed to bring in your dependents and then this set of people i'm going to mention now are the set of people that we are going to discuss about today and they are people that are going on a research program an msc research program they are welcome to bring in their dependents if you are offering a master's by research then you are permitted by the uk government to come in with your dependents live with them and study in the united kingdom if you're new here my name is Ogi. please kindly give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and always watch out for more videos so today we are going to discuss about people that would like to go for masters by research there are just masters msc ba and the rest but there is also what we call masters by research and definitely you're going to be asking what is masters by research masters by research is a research master's degree that emphasizes independent study over taught instruction so you are going to do more of independent study you don't have to start going to classes going there to study and waiting for a lecturer to come and teach you you are strictly doing a research on your own and believe me not everybody can do this so if you are good at what you do and you are ready to study in the united kingdom and your only challenge is because you can't come in and live with your dependents in the united kingdom for you to be able to study then worry no more i encourage you to go in and go for masters where research and you would be able to come into the uk and study with your dependents so we are also going to go through eligibility criteria of those that can come in and study for a master's by research program in the united kingdom we are also going to check out some of the universities in the uk that offer masters by research and also their requirements find out if the university of your choice offers a master's by research and if they offer it in the particular program you would like to research on so let me give you some of these universities so there are top universities that offer masters by research in the uk and some of these universities are university of Bath, university of college london london school of economies university of birmingham university of wales trinity saint david london south bank university barbeck university of london university of east london university of roehampton kingston university south wales university abata university uk um de montfort university uk we are also going to look at the eligibility criteria of studying in the in these institutions under masters of research this is the website of university of south wales and if you want to apply for this program it's a postgraduate research degree emphasis on research so the guidance will assist you in applying for your choosing postgraduate research degree and would outline how your application will be considered what will be expected of you and what you can expect from the university the information will assist you in deciding which research degree to apply for preparing your research proposals preparing your research proposal making your application 
understanding how your application is processed okay this is how to apply the first step is to register with our online service and apply online which research degree you need to find the right degree for you in the listing then the following documents must be uploaded as supporting documents a single research proposal of approximately 2000 words is required unless you're applying for a funded studentship which has a specified project only one research only one research proposal is permitted two references on headed paper at least one referee should be able to comment on your academic slash professional ability references provided by relatives are not acceptable applications that do not include references and or a research proposal will be rejected as will applications that include multiple research proposals applicants from countries where english is not the first language or are required to provide evidence of the required english language proficiency example the ielts or tofu certificate which must be uploaded as supporting documents evidence of qualifications example degrees certificates example degree certificates and transcripts must be submitted at the time of application if you are applying for a phd direct and you hold a relevant master's degree you should submit as a supporting document an outline of the title and content example an abstract of your master's degree and one of your referees should be an independent academic referee who can comment on your performance on the master's degree if you're applying for a phd by publication please submit your proposal publication as a supporting document please ensure you apply in time for your chosen entry month so these are the requirements and you need to go through them and be certain that you meet these requirements before you think about applying for a master's by research so remember if you're going for a master's by research you need to know one thing you are going to do this program by yourself you are not going to be taught you don't need to, you don't need a lecturer to be coming into your class and be teaching you like the regular masters you are going to do a research on your own it is self-taught and remember you are required to write nothing less than forty thousand words in your dissertation and which is not a child's play if you're good at critical thinking and you can be able to put these things in your own word you can be able to write your references very well then you can go for masters by research so if you know you can do this if you know you can pull this string and pull it well then you're free to go for a masters by research program and remember plagiarism is always looked out for you don't do copy and paste you need to research and research well and write these things in your own words that's where critical thinking comes in so if you know you're not doing copy and paste that you can be able to write things in your own word and write them well then you can come in and do a master's by research program remember if for any reason you fail your master's program you will not be able to switch your visa one of the criteria of staying back in the united kingdom after your master's program is that you must have passed the program that brought you into the united kingdom and when you pass the program is when you can be able to switch your visa so make sure that you are prepared for this program so that you can be able to switch to your psw the moment you graduate but it's a great option as long as you know that you can be able to do this
uh, I'm going to leave uh, some of the programs that some of these schools offer and you go through it and see some of the courses they offer under the research program. I hope this video was of great help to you. Please kindly like this video, share to your family and friends. And if you're yet to subscribe, make sure you subscribe so that you will be able to see anytime I drop a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Till then, bye.